Welcome, Dan Williams, Survive Outdoors, and today we're going to be talking about what does a spider bite look like? This is really an important video because I cannot even begin to explain the amount of individuals that freak out, panic, and believe that they have a spider bite. And something like 97 to 98% of spider bites are not spider bites. Um, and individuals come in the clinic, they call on the phone, and they think they have a spider bite, and actually it is not. It is either an abscess, uh, an infected sebaceous cyst. And the only way, now, this book here is by Arbach. It is the Bible for wilderness medicine. And it is what really a lot of clinicians, physicians, PAs, NPs go by when it comes to a standard of care for treatment of wilderness injuries and bites and stings. And they specifically state, and I implore you, this is very true, you can't diagnose a spider bite unless you see the spider that bit you. It really can't. Uh, and there's a lot of reasons why that's true. Now, we're going to show you what a spider bite should look like for the most part. Uh, but in order to do that, you're going to have to see what other lesions slash rashes appear that are not spider bites. It's like anything else. If you know what it's not, you're going to start funneling that down to what is correct. Um, now, the fangs, which are chelicerae, that word right there, the fangs on spiders, usually they operate one of two ways. One, the fangs go down and bite. For example, like a tarantula, where they rear back and bite. Um, or, like a wolf spider or jumping spider, the majority of spiders that you see here in North America have a horizontal grasping mechanism. Nevertheless, what you're going to see is one or two bite marks. You don't need to have uh, two red dots. It can be one red dot. So the black widow bite is usually a sharp pain. And then you may have one or two red fine little dots. Within 30 minutes, you should get some redness and warmth. You get nausea. You can have shoulder pain. The classic is abdominal pain, and I'm going to post our Black Widow video at the end of this, as well as down below. Now, the brown recluse, which is the other one that's really common, that is usually painless. And in the first 30 minutes, you may or may not have some mild redness, and then it develops into a blister. And then that blister fills up with blood, ruptures, and then you get the classic in about an hour to two hours, you can start to get some necrosis, which means the dead skin. It's called an eschar, and that's the classic brown recluse. As you're gonna see here in this airplane flying over, but in this picture back in, I think, 2008, we were the first website uh, ever to actually have this. We got permission from the gentleman that got bit down by Peoria, Illinois got bit on his thigh and you can see the progression here and now this picture is everywhere needless to say but that is a classic brown recluse bite and its progression pretty ugly for all of the rest all spiders are venomous and many times just like some snakes they do a dry bite they can bite you and not inject any venom whatsoever so we need to look at photographs of what are not spider bites, but people believe they are. Okay, so this picture here is of a woman's leg, and it could be chiggers, is what it appears to be, but you see multiple red bites on her leg. Spiders do not bite more than uh, once. So as a classic, the spider bites you, it wants to get the hell out of the, play, out of the way, and it runs, it's gone. It's not gonna bite and bite and bite. It's not gonna happen. So let's get that presentation completely out of the way. The next one is a classic picture of Lyme disease. And you see the red ring. And that really needs no further discussion. You've seen that on some of my other videos. The, this photograph here is of a leg that had, um, there's a burn, I believe, maybe from hog weed 
or wild parsnip and you'll see the blister, that excoriated black area, they scratch that area. And this individual believed that they could have been bit by a spider. Now this finger photograph you're going to see, that really could be and looks like an early presentation of a brown recluse. However, the history is really important. Person was bit in Northern Illinois. Brown recluse spiders are not capitalized, not indigenous to Northern Illinois. Yeah, they could have been transported, so that's all something you have to keep in the back of your mind. This actually was a finger that was broken on a contusion, but it looks very similar to a spider bite. The um, classic, classic spider bite that gets confused with the most is this photograph. This is a sebaceous cyst combined with a cellulitis. So what does all that mean? The sebaceous cyst is filled up with a whitish material uh, and then what you have is the skin around it gets really red and inflamed and now you have a skin infection, i.e. cellulitis. This right here is what is confused the most with spider bites. And a lot of time this is MRSA, methicillin resistant Staph aureus. And we have Staph and Strep on our skin all the time. It over colonizes MRSA, it can be harbored in your nose. And you're going to see, and what drives me nuts, there's a doc in Tennessee or Texas, and he is doing these incisions and drains of many abscesses, and he's stating clearly stating that these are brown recluse spider bites. They are absolutely not brown recluse spider bites. Um, and what's also important to state is that we can't draw labs to tell you if it's a spider bite. We can't do a culture of the wound to tell you it's a spider bite. The culture will help us what bacteria, but these bites can be fungal, bacterial, or viral. And very clearly, we cannot do that. Now, there used to be a test, which we don't order anymore because it's pretty inaccurate, where you can do a hair sample, and they feel they felt around 20 years ago we could see some of the brown recluse venom in hair samples. Uh, been disproven, can't do it. So really, the only way to tell if you have a spider bite is you have to see that spider bite you uh, and bring that spider in that's really important. So what does a spider bite look like? Just like that abscess, for the most part, that would be like two or three days later if it's a recluse. A black widow, just a really red mark, it gets inflamed and gets red. All of the other ones, jumping spiders, wolf spiders, grass spiders, hobo spiders, I'm here to tell you that you don't get the arachn uh, arachnid necrosis. It is not gonna happen, you don't see that. And I'm sure I'm going to have people disagree. Not a problem. Disagree. But in the medical profession, very, very, very rare. So keep your eyes on the rise and your face to the wind. If you like this stuff, subscribe. We'd love to have you. Take care.